I want to do a talk here on GMOs and why I'm calling from Japan in order to um, bring about a change. And I'm calling on folks to basically join the fight and to call um, and be part of the effort because ultimately Monsanto is waging a war on our health using genetically modified food that ultimately is unhealthy. Let me explain what genetically modified food is. Now, the vast majority of genetically modified food basically are crops that, that have been that have taken a cesspool gene that, that basically uh, an organism that can live in a roundup, they pulled out that part of that organism and they're putting it in the food. So what it means is now you can put um, herbicide, very strong, non-biodegradable herbicide known Roundup, on directly on the food. This food absorbs this chemical, which is non-biodegradable, that is highly toxic, and it goes inside the food that you consume. So it's poison. It creates poison. It's as simple as that. The other, that's 70% of GMOs, uh, is either that. The other 30% is actually BT pesticide which is a neurotoxin that they put into the plant. So instead of the argument is like, oh, it means we use less. Yeah, we use less, but we create more because every single plant now ultimately is producing pesticide, a neurotoxin that is ultimately helping in the collapse of the bees and killing other insects because this stuff stays in the field where the plants were growing. So. The market diffusion of corn is, is going up significantly, which means we're planting more and more and more and more corn, which means more and more and more Roundup is used, which means more and more and more uh, BT pesticide is produced. Um, and it's basically crashing our ecosystem. So the reason why I'm calling is because we need to stop Monsanto, we need to stop this madness, and we need to basically um, support the small local farmers the farmers that are breeding the food. So, some of the other um, um, miscommunication that's coming out of the Monsanto camp, the no for 37, is this, is prices will raise. People, it's a sticker. It's a sticker on your food. How is that going to increase prices? The bottom line, the reason why they are so against is because they know people don't want to basically eat food which has poison on it or poison coming out of it, right? Why anyone in the right mind would choose to eat food that is po that has poison put on it or poison coming out of it? And the reality is they know people don't want to eat it and that's because when this law was passed in Europe, people opt out of GMOs. They didn't want it. If you have a choice between healthy, natural, food which hasn't had poison put on it and hasn't had poison coming out of it versus that, what would you choose? The non-poison, obviously. The other miscommunication is this, is saying that um, ultimately, um, uh, oh, it's, it only, it's, the, the bill isn't, doesn't go far enough. Well, we've got $40 million against us only because we targeted agrochemicals. If we were to target the dairy, which are like, well, it doesn't include milk. Well, we would have the Dairy Association. If we targeted meat, we'd have the, the freaking um, Meat Association. So, can you imagine how much money would have been levied against this? It was skillfully crafted in order for us not to have everyone and their sister attacking this bill. Then it would have failed. You know, it's very important that we pass this bill and ultimately, yo, know, it doesn't go far enough. We should have, you know, we should know if milk, milk has bovine growth hormone in it, right? We should know if, if cattle are eating, you know, if this cattle has GMO feed or non-GMO feed. I want to know that as a consumer, you should too, because ultimately it does affect your health. So please join me. I'm in Japan. I'm actually here having uh, lunch. This is an ok okomeyaki restaurant. There's my lunch right here. Let me show you this. I'm actually going to put this upside down. I'm going to mix it all up and then put it upside down and cook it like a pancake and have lunch. So I'm going to have my lunch and I hope that you will call and you will support Yes on 37.
yes on 37. And what's more important is you need to tell 10 friends to vote yes on 37. Because we can beat the $40 million, but only if you help me, only if you become viral with me and tell your friends. I'm working every day to fight for Californians for the right to know what's in their food. Because I know if we can win in California, ultimately it's going to change America. My name is Michael Trout. I'm the CEO, founder of Found Ups. Found Ups. And you can reach me online at mtrout.com. mtrout.com takes you to my Facebook page. Or you can email me, asshole, at mtrout.com. GMO at mtrout.com. It's going to come to me. Thanks.